this is really nice. Wide open space in here. Yeah, welcome to our house. Um, my wife and I have been working hard to personalize it a little bit. Yeah. We added this Wayne's coating detail here in our entryway. Set Very that nice. apart. And then uh, we had carpet and tile throughout the house and we tore all that out and put in this nice wide plank laminate flooring. Some shiplap siding and oh boy, look at this handrail. I love this handrail, nice and solid. And there's one last piece that, that we need to tackle. Okay. And that's, uh, that's this eyesore right here. Yeah, it does look a little bit out of place. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't quite blend with what we're trying to do. And then it's also, you know, it's just kind of your run of the mill railing, you know? Yeah, I mean, this Most is Most of pretty, my neighbors yeah, have the same railing. Yeah, this is pretty stock stuff. You get this at the home center, oak railing and balusters. So what do you have in mind? So I was thinking if we could do something a little bit more square with the wood, like a nice square newel post here. And then what I think would really look cool is if we could do some cable railing. Absolutely. Uh, I'm up for that. So why don't we get started by taking the old one out? Great. Let's work it down nice and easy. Oh, yeah, pull it up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> No nails. Okay, all of the old ballasts are removed. The railing's taken out. We've cleaned everything up, but we left the old newel post. And why did we leave this? I thought we were getting rid of this. Well, you know what? This is really in here nice and solid. And to take it out and then refasten something in there really doesn't make much sense. Now, there's a local mill shop that actually makes stair pots down the road here. And this is made of poplar. It's but it's actually designed to go right over the existing newel post, just like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and at the top, they even mill up a, call, a cap like that to make it really look contemporary. All right, so now to get started, what we're gonna do is calculate our height, and then we can take the length off of our bottom. We'll need to scribe that to the floor. All right, I'm gonna slide this down, down to the floor. Then you hold two levels on it. Hold it plumb in both directions and I'll mark the bottom to follow the floor. All right, now I'm gonna adjust my scribes to my line that I want right there. Bring it down. And mark it across the bottom on all four sides. Are right, you still good? Still good. To make our scribe cut, I'm going to start with an oscillating saw. And to finish that cut up, I'm going to switch to a Japanese pull saw. And then I'll clean it all up with a chisel. and smooth it out with a sander. Okay, Nathan, lay that piece of five quarter up there. Now that's gonna be the transition or the end piece for the floor to transition into the stairway. So we've already squared that end up and that's tight against the newel post. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this newel post, push it tight to the wall, because that's where it's gonna go. And mark our length. And we'll cut that. Now, before we cut the length, I want to take this piece. I want to cut a rabbit in this bottom corner right here and remove this piece so that the floor will go in there and still allow the floor to move and float. With our pieces cut, I'm going to assemble the entire railing system in the garage and install it as a unit. This machine makes mortises in each piece. Then these tenons glue into the mortises, holding everything together. 
Okay. You ready? Ready. These screws will hold the railings to the newel post while the glue sets up. Oh. I'm gonna get down there, see if I can line my end up. You balance it. You good? You're good. All right, now let's keep it up and level. You can see we cut the top of the newel post off, nice and flat. So we want to try to get this down, keep it parallel with the wall, but also kind of level. We'll see if I can get it down in here. We'll slide it down together. Just put some of this construction adhesive down. And this will really hold it. We'll put a few screws in it. Once the adhesive dries, you'll never get it off. Okay, you ready? I got it in. Are you even with the post? Yep. All right, let's work it right down. All right, here's the cable that we're going to use for our railing system to go in between the newel post and parallel to the floor. All right, I got a roll of it. These are the fasteners that fasten the cables to the newel post. If you notice, there's two different types, all right? And there's a thread on it right here that's a wood thread and then a machine thread that screws into the fastener. This one right here is adjustable. So when we screw this into the newel post, we screw this in onto the machine thread, leaving it back a little bit. Put the cable in, hold this with the wrench, and then we can hold this steady here and put the wrench, make this tight. When it screws down onto the thread, it will make the cable tight on this end. Okay. Okay, now the building code says that any opening on a stairway, like between a baluster, can't be wider than four inches. Okay. Since the cable could deflect, we're going to space our fasteners three inches. This picket acts as a template for drilling our holes, but it will also act as a support for the cable because building code also says that the cable cannot run more than three feet without something to support it. All right, so now we're ready to start the cable. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna feed the cable through the hole. All right, so now take the end of the cable and push it in and then pull back and it should lock itself in. Now I'm gonna pull it tight and right here on these adjusters, there's a line that I need to cut this cable. So that's my reference point. I'll pull it tight, take my cutters, line it up with the line Cut it. Now I take the cable and push it in. Okay, there. All right, so now we're ready to start tightening these. And the manufacturer wants you to start in the middle and then alternate your way out. All right, so put the wrench on the outside one right there. That will hold the steady. And I'm going to turn this one in onto the machine thread. And that should tighten the cable. All right, Nathan, there you go. Your reeling is all in. Now all you have to do is sand it up, fill some holes, and stain it whatever color you want. Yeah, this looks fantastic. I'm, I'm so happy with how it turned out. Thanks for coming to Utah. My pleasure. I'm glad you like it. Hey, send me a picture when it's done. Will do. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.